What's up, YouTube family? Tell y'all about the streets. I always talk about prison, whooping niggas in prison, always talking about prison this. But I'ma just tell y'all about the streets. Yeah. This 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 the video right here, man. The, the reason why this the video is I'm gonna show y'all that it's not just because I was in prison and I'm around stiff niggas and I have to move like that nigga. I been this nigga. Yeah, do y'all research. I'm the first nigga to swing at the party, bro. I always remember that. Ask any nigga from Baytown, they know I'm gonna do some punching. I'm gonna squabble. I'm not gonna back down. The stiffest niggas, I'm the one that fought them niggas. The bullies, I used to beat them niggas up. I used to make sure my hood nigga was good. That was type of little nigga I was. And I was young. But my mentality, I was ahead of everybody. I was already fucking grown women at 13 and shit like that. So my mind frame was way advanced. Why niggas playing with wrestlers and shit like that, I, I wasn't doing that. I was smoking gas. I was smoking weed. I was having fun, living life, you know what I'm saying? But let's get on these streets, though, man. Start off like this, man. Age of 10, living in Archie Course, you know what I'm saying? Single mutt. My mom was single. She just got out of a relationship with an abusive ass nigga. You know what I'm saying? They used to beat on her and us. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so like, life was rough. It's a lot of shit I went through fucking with that nigga too, man. Nigga pulled a gun on my mama. You know what I'm saying? Pulled the trigger. Gun didn't go off. Like, y'all don't know, man. Nigga been through shit. I just don't talk about it a lot because, yeah, I live rough. You feel me? At a young age, I seen shit that a young nigga is not supposed to see, you feel me? Going through shit, you know what I'm saying? Hardly go to your babies. Go to your baby, girl. But yeah, man, I've been through it all. Talk about how I grew up, man. Archie Courts, you know what I'm saying? First time smoking weed, you feel me? Young nigga, 10 years old. I'm 10, you understand this? I'm 10 years old. You know what I'm saying? Single mother, you feel me? Everybody used to come to my house. All the older niggas used to be cool with me and my mama and, you know what I'm saying, my little brothers and shit used to come to my house, be on the karaoke, you know what I'm saying, rapping and shit. They drinking, smoking, everything. I wind up hitting the weed, ripping around the streets, fighting, you know what I'm saying? Stealing bikes, stealing go-karts, you know what I'm saying? Stole the go-kart twice. Laws come back, hey, I know it's your son. I know it's your son. Where's the go kart? You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Nick was just a little badass, you know what I'm saying? At a young age, to going to TYC because of my little brothers, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to put y'all on that. Rest in peace, Jafar, or should I say CIP? Jafar, he a crib, you know what I'm saying? I'm a blood, though, but that's my, that's my relative, though. So, my nigga Jafar. I'm, fr I'm fresh out of boot camp. I've been out four days, three or four days. Brothers, they were like, man, what's up? You want to go to the mall? I'm like, hell yeah, let's go to the mall. We jump fresh, we jump fly, you know what I'm saying? We couldn't find no ride. Boom. So finally they find a ride, but I'm getting mad because I'm like, damn, bro. Like, I don't even feel like going no more. They were like, man, just come on. I'm like, man, fuck it, all right, babe. The more the story is, we go up there, boom. My brother Ben told me that some, some essays put a gun on him. So um, it's on my mind, when I see this essay, it's overstood. It, it, it's, it's overstood, you feel me? I'm going to smash the shit out of him, you know what I'm saying? So we in front of the mall. It's crazy. I'm trying to do good. I'm trying to find a job. You know what I'm saying? Everything. I was doing so good, bro. For four days, though, I was doing good. I was on some... My mind was ready. I was like, man, I'm about to give me a job. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to chill. I'm about to be out these streets. I'm next to Jafari. 
my cousin. Tell me why the mess come out. My nigga Camille walking behind the Mexican talking about what's popping, bitch ass nigga. Like he trying to fight the Mexican or whatever. But the Mexican keep walking, he keep walking. And my brother, and it's crazy how things work, cause I wind up putting that nigga down with the sit. Camille, know what I'm saying? We wind up putting him down with the sit. So it's crazy how shit work. You know what I'm saying? He wasn't even put down or nothing. He was just like, what's popping? Cause that's bay time. We bloods over here. You know what I'm saying? Majority of us, you feel me? But so he like, what's popping, bitch? I need. So, when the Mexican walking off, my brother like, man, that's that nigga that pulled a gun on me. So, as soon as he said that, you already know it. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. This Mexican got problems now. Because now, it's about to be some shit. Because, nigga, as soon as I said, well, what? Nigga. <laughs> Took off on bro real quick. I'm talking about, boom. He take off running. I take off on him again. He's stumbling. I, you know what I'm saying? He's still running. He's stumbling. Every time I hit him, he's stumbling. The nigga trying to get to his car. So, boom, and his brother running, too. Jaf Jafari on that nigga brother ass. Boom, boom, he hitting that nigga. Boom, they get in the car. The nigga trying to shut the door. You know what I'm saying? I wind up getting... No, hold on, how I did it? Oh, yeah, I was inside the door. You know what I'm saying? And I was hitting that nigga. I was hitting that nigga. And then he kicked me out the door. And then he shut the door. So when he shut the door... You know what I'm saying? I kicked the window out that bitch. Gling, 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 gling. Boom. I unlocked the door. Go up in that bitch. Start whooping that nigga some more. Nigga unconscious. My, my cousin Jafari on the other side whooping that nigga little brother or whatever. So, oh, the law's coming out the front of the mall. I see them hoes from a distance, but they can't really just see us, but they can hear the commotion coming from over here in the parking lot. So when they coming out the door, we ducking behind cars Going around and went right back inside the mall. Boom. We go to the restroom. Now, I remind you, I'm a blood. My cousin, he a crib. So, he all blue. I'm flame game. You know what I'm saying? We go to the restroom. We switch clothes like on some crime investigation. <laughs> like, me and bro switch clothes. So, I'm number blue. I'm number flu on, bro. I'm looking crazy. Everybody looking at me like, what the fuck? Bro, this nigga never wear blue, bro. What the fuck? What's going on? So we go to Chick-fil-A. Like, we in the mall, but we go to the Chick-fil-A part. We get the motherfucking napkins. And because I had to clean my motherfucking leg off. Because when I kicked that window, I was bleeding on the back of my leg. So I'm cleaning that blood off. Boom. We see two females we know from the hood. From Northwood, you know what I'm saying? We see them. Boom. So we go over there. I'm like, man, Tiffany and uh, Lele. I'm like, bro, y'all got to act like we with y'all the whole time, bro. Please, you know what I'm saying? We're going to get a movie and shit. We're going to pay for it. Woo. So we get a movie and shit. We go in the movies and shit. So we like, we good. My little brother come to movies, but he start complaining. My brother like, bro, I'm ready to go home. Y'all niggas tripping, bro. Y'all niggas tripping. The law's all outside. They looking for us. They looking for us, bro. It's crazy. But 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 my brother, he leave. And you know what I'm saying? And they, uh, they him my little brother up. They scared the shit out of my little brother. They like, he told me like, yeah, my brother, he in the movie theater. They was like, man, where your brother at? We looking for your brother. <laughs> bro, I knocked this mask and out. The nigga thought somebody shot in his window. Cause the way I kicked the window, the bitch, I kicked that bitch with some force. Like, you know what I'm saying? Had the whole window shattered. Like, I don't know how I did this shit, bro. I guess my legs stronger than a bitch. But nigga, I'm talking about, I kicked the shit out that bitch. But he told the law that I shot the window. I came, opened the door, and started beating him. You know what I'm saying? Like pistol whipping that nigga. But I ain't have no gun. Law searched me. When they got me, they searched me. They were about to let me go. They were like, all right, go ahead. They were about to let me go back into the movies once they found me. Man, that's crazy. But that's like when I was young. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to tell y'all a story about Junebug. You know what I'm saying? Baytime over You know what I'm saying? I fuck, I fuck with bro now, we good, but know what I'm saying, like, back then, like, we wasn't even, it wasn't even beefing, cause he didn't, he didn't really know who the fucking nigga was, so, if he would've known who I was, he would've known not to fuck with me, you know what I'm saying, like, like, don't get it twisted, bro, 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 retarded, and he a super crip, so you already know what that lead to, bro, you know what I'm saying, when niggas be doing shit, and they feel like, 
certain blood niggas ain't gonna say something, I'm that nigga that's gonna say something. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna stand on mine. But we in our condition and shit. So this is what happened. Like it's a female named Jamie. That's his sister, you feel me? And like she was trying to talk to me. But I'm like, I'm like, nah, I got a female at the time. I was talking to the female, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, nah, I don't, don't want to talk to you. I got a female. This and she like, yeah, I know who your girlfriend is. I'm about to go fight her. You know what I'm saying? Da, da, da. I'm like, man, nah, bro, leave that shit alone. You tripping. Ooh. So I burn off. I don't pay no mind. I'm trying to sell crack, but that shit, that shit didn't work. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, I'm trying to sell crack. That's what I'm doing. That's what I'm focused on. But nigga, selling crack wasn't for me at that time. Cause I didn't I didn't have the patience for it. I ain't give a damn either. I was just giving that shit away. But uh, more of the story is though, I'm trying to hustle and shit, so I'm not focused on that shit. Nigga, as soon as I come around the corner, boom, I see them fighting. My the female I was talking to at the time and, and uh Junebug's sister. So boom. So my brother like my brother say, man, I think this nigga said fuck treetop, bro. He fuck, said fuck the set, bro. I said, what? I said, you sure? He's like, I don't want to jump to conclusion. I said, man, I don't give a fuck. I'm jumping to conclusion, nigga. I said, what you said, nigga? What you said while I wasn't around here, nigga? He said, nigga, I said, whoop. I what? Come on, get out of here then, nigga. Boom. So, I'm going to tell you some real G shit, bro. You could tell a real crib from a fake crib. Real talk. Like, I ain't gonna disrespect a nigga. Like, a nigga could be stiffed in a bitch and love they set like a motherfucker. But with a real pyro nigga or a real crip or a real blood, they know a fake crip because they know what color flag a nigga got. If you got a wrong color flag, nigga, you got a baby blue flag, nigga. That's rolling 20s. That's, that's crip. That's rolling 20 crip. That's not five dudes. You see what I'm saying? It's shit like that I, I pay attention to because I'm a super game banger. You know what I'm saying? But I'm respectful as long as you respect me. You respect mine, I'm going to respect yours. If you don't respect mine, I'm going to disrespect yours. You know what I'm saying? That's what type of guy I am. But, so, bro, got this little baby blue flag. So, I'm like, bro, what the fuck? Like, this nigga must don't know his knowledge and shit. But that's, that's, that's Bay Time Houston. You know what I'm saying? That's how it is. So, bro, what happened was, so... Bro, come, you know what I'm saying? We, we, we on the street and shit. Me and that nigga post up and shit. So when we post up, bro, kick me in my nuts. He could, cause he got tired of me moving. And you know what I'm saying? And he got tired of me bobbing, moving and shit. And they was like, stay still, nigga. Stay still. So, bro, why them kick me in my nuts? So while I'm down, he was about to hit me with my cousin Toast. He was like, nigga, you better not hit my little cousin, bro. You got me fucked up. So he like, damn, that's your cousin. So I'm fighting your cousin. So it all lined up. My motherfucking cousin was going with his motherfucking sister, the one that was trying to talk to me. The reason why we fighting. See what I'm saying? That's how the game is. You know what I'm saying? But I'm out there squabbling. But but that's the first day. Boom. So they like, man, tomorrow we're gonna get that again. Cause you know what I'm saying? You, you know what I'm saying? Nick keep me no. But Nick Quaylin was trying to motherfucking hit me from the back though. So my brother dropped Quaylin. Know what I'm saying? The next day, he already put it on trees. He said, nigga, when I see Quaylin, bro, I'm going to swap with that nigga. And I'm going to whoop that nigga. And that's what happened, bro. Huh? Yeah, my brother Nick. Nick, you know what I'm saying? Dropped Quaylin five times. Facts, nigga. Psh, for real, that's facts. Dropped that nigga five times. So guess what? He run. And guess who he going to get? He going to get Maurice. Maurice come down the street. Guess who get on his ass? Bro, I'm my mama. Bro, guess who get on his ass, bro? Guess who get on Kilo? Bro, Kilo get on Maurice. Bro, Kilo cannot fight, bro. Everybody can tell you, bro. He fight with his head down. And it's my nigga at the time. But I got seven years behind that nigga. Yeah, snitch ass nigga, bro. Facts. Laws. Bring the laws and to go get the evidence at his house. Come on, bro. But that's story time, man. That's story time. But with Junebug, I wind up fighting that nigga again. The next day, I fight that nigga because them all them niggas went and ran and and they they couldn't handle that pressure down that street. So they all running to go get another nigga. 
And guess who the other nigga was? Junebug. But these my niggas fighting. So guess what? <laughs> Nobody touch him. He's for me. He already kicked me in my nuts. You know what I'm saying? So we got to get that again. Bro, I hurt. I hurt, bro. On my mama. To the point where I got bored fighting him. To the point where my brother chasing Quaylen. So guess what? I turn and chase Quaylen. So the nigga Junebug catch me when I'm, when I'm, you know what I'm saying, hitting that nigga Quaylen. So when he hit me, I grab that nigga so I don't fall, like, and he could fall with me. And we out there wrestling, like, type shit. Like, he steady grabbing my shit. Like, and you know what I'm, I'm trying to make sure he don't hit me because the nigga on top of me. I ain't going to lie, you know what I'm saying? But he ain't hitting me because I'm steady grabbing that nigga and trying to hit him at the same time. Boom, that nigga, the nigga, uh... I think it was Maurice was trying to motherfucking hit me with a bottle. But before he uh got to me, Misk and Joe, you know what I'm saying, tackled that nigga. Bottle came out that nigga hand. You know what I'm saying? Then that's when everything. Oh, then my cousin, I ain't gonna lie, my cousin head. You know what I'm saying? He he coming down the street. He a crib. This is my cousin though. So he coming down the street. And like, it's funny how, how he coming down the street. He like, hurry up, what's up? What's up? And so I'm like, damn, bro, I'm about to have to fight my own cousin, bro. Like, so I'm thinking he on that shit, like, on some super game bang shit. Like, he don't give a damn if I'm his cousin. We're going to squabble. So I'm like, what's up, bro? What's up? He was like, nah, I ain't going to fight you. You my cousin. But I'm going to fight your homeboy, though. And he fought Kilo. He whooped the shit out of Kilo. Bro, he had Kilo going through the fence. on go on my Through my fence. In my yard was going through that bitch, I swear. That nigga here was whooping the shit out of Kilo. But then that shit happened. Then everything was kind of good from there. But most shit happened. But I don't want to bring it up. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's too much. It's incrimination. You know what I'm saying? But, but you know how that shit be. But after that, we was good, though. Because it's crazy how that, like I wound up have to fight with that nigga. Like, help that nigga. That same nigga, Junebug, I had to help that nigga. In the club against Magna. That same guy. But yeah, man, that's that's the streets. You know, I always tell prison stories, so I'm going to tell y'all a little something about the streets. You know what I'm saying? Let y'all know that it's real. That's just a little something, a little razzle-dazzle. But y'all, like, subscribe. Y'all have a good time. Zaydog family.